do it. I can't give you any more. I said, well, goodbye, I'm sorry, but I gotta get something to explore. So I went to work for Hackensack Ford. I got a job at Hackensack Ford as a mechanic. And uh, my first week's pay was $100. That was a big deal in those days. It went from 35 to 100. I was a millionaire, I thought. Yeah. And how many years did you stay with Hackensack Ford? I was 17 years with Hackensack Ford. I started out as a mechanic, shop foreman, and a service advisor. I was a service manager in Village Ford in Ridgewood and also in, uh, in uh, Cliffside Park. I was in that CSC Ford over there before it burned down. You married, I, you married Josephine? I married her and for 65 years we've been happily married. Yeah. We have four children, four girls, and they're all great. How did you meet Josephine? How did you meet? That was a little, little odd too. My sister and her sister rode the bus together to New York to work every day. And uh, uh, my sister asked her sister if she would ask Josephine to write a letter. Well, Josephine had no part of it because she said, I don't know, I was no part of that. <laughs> but when we got home, the uh, Knights of Columbus had a Dinty Moore dinner. And uh, my wife's family were going and uh, my sister and her husband and I was invited. And of course that I was seated next to Josephine a little setup job, but uh, we got along very well from there on. Uh -huh. 65 years is a testament to that. You mentioned that uh, you enjoyed fixing computers and you would fix them. Yes, I. when I started slowing down in the automobile business, I, I'm not a person who can sit around. So in 1985 it was, I think, that I started playing with computers because we had one at the ambulance building and I went down every day and went through it to, to learn how to use it. So then I bought one of my own and then I got connected with a group which was George Carr was that group. And uh, I read and read and built, and so I wanted to upgrade the computer I bought. So they said, bring your computer over here for a couple of days and we'll have the parts and you'll do it. So they taught me how to do it from there. From then on, I've been fixing my own. You said you fixed one for each of your daughters? Oh, I did. I built computers for all my daughters and I taught them how to use them and they're, they're all very good. They're all very good. In fact, they're teaching me now, I guess, a little uh -huh. bit because <laughs> my eyes don't help me any. You mentioned about uh, the ambulance uh, corps so what kind of community service did you perform? Well, I was in the ambulance corps. I was a captain for six terms, which was a year, president for nine terms, and uh, board of trustee for many years. I rode for 46 years. I am in the corps for 56 years right now. And I, uh, I, I stay in, stay a little bit active. I'm in the trustees, as I said. And I'm there for experience of what went on before me, us, and uh, the early days and how we cured it. They look to me for a little bit of help that way. And you're also active at St. John's Parish? In I what, was the, in what way? I've been an usher for 50 years, and I was a head usher for about uh, probably 12 or 15 years. The, um you're a member of the American Legion, post 162. How did that come about? Uh, Al Murphy came to me and asked me if I'd consider joining. He said, yes, I would. In fact, I think it took that little push for somebody to get me because I had considered it many times, but I just, I just guess nobody gave me the push to get through. But he did, and he's very good. Bob, did I... Are the, did I leave out any questions that, or comments you'd like to share with us? Uh, no, I, I admire the Legion. They're, they do a very, very good job. They do a little bit of everything around, and they're uh, not looking for 
big pat on the back, which is good too. Well, as one veteran to another, I thank you for your service, Bob. I, I really appreciate it. I, I did my service with the country with no regrets. I never regretted being it. it in fact, as I told you, there was a letter written by one girl, I, and she uh, wrote to the War Department to ask me from being sent overseas again. And uh, <clears throat> I got called into the first sergeant's office, and he says, we've got a letter here that states that they want you to stay here in the state. I said, what do you want to do? I said, I want to go, which I did. And I don't regret any part of it. A little hairy at times, as you all know. Yeah. It's, uh, things are close, and, but thank God I came out of it alive.